in the future, the world is ending and we fuck robots. <laughs> I'm Derek. I'm Whitney. I'm going to go shit in my hat. I'm Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad movies. Worst, worst people. people. So, this are you, movie. Are you trying to get the taste of this movie out of your mouth? Yes. It's, <laughs> shot, spoiler, I did not like it. <laughs> spoiler for the end of this podcast. <laughs> Differing opinions. Differing opinions, <laughs> yes. Wes, love you. Did not like this movie. Well, we'll get there. So, this movie was re- recommended to us by a friend and listener named Wes. I won't, Hi, Wes. His, I won't give his last name or social security number. Yeah, I did that I'll once. I'll give you his and... address. <laughs> Go to his house. Uh, it's called Cherry 2000 from the year of 1987, <laughs> rated PG-13. We so had that, some fuckings and shits, though, didn't we? There was at least one fuck. Yeah, but it's 87 PG-13, okay. which is so a good. whole less, different... Less rules. <laughs> yeah. Also, the rating system is rigged anyway. <laughs> People are like, you get one fuck, you get one this, you get... There's no real rules. You said less rules. <laughs> less rules. <laughs> <laughs> less does rule. Uh, You'll movie, get that in a minute. This movie's only 99 minutes. Felt longer. Did it? Yeah. Yes. I feel like I'm the the standout one here. I thought this movie was awesome. Um, I, I think I'm right between you two because like I didn't hate it nearly as much as your wife did. You're over there. I, do, I am kind of in betwixt you, but I definitely didn't enjoy as much as you did. Um, I've watched worse movies and just recently, so. Truth. You know, I've spent 99 minutes in a worse way. I got 99 minutes, but not one is for this. <laughs> I don't know. I was sitting there watching it going, I wonder if like... Shout Factory or anybody's put this out on Blu-ray. I wonder how many Oscars they fucking got for this. <laughs> well, it's, there's one Oscar-winning actor in it. Yeah, Is was. It, was it uh, uh, was it Melanie Griffith? It, no, she was nominated. Was okay, oh, she was God. nominated, and so was uh, spoiler alert Lawrence Fishburne, who plays a huge role in this. Movie. He, oh, he's, <laughs> I, I always say like, oh, this guy's in for a cup of coffee. The, he didn't even get to drink his cup of coffee in this he movie. It. He, he ordered it. Was like, get the fuck out of my restaurant. This guy's now. in here to get a cup of coffee thrown in his face. Get the fuck out of my movie. They even gave him little like white streaks in his hair. Oh, he looked so much work. Great. He looked awesome. Yes, that's um, probably it the is kind of uh, like a veritable who's who of character actors that uh, even watching this, you don't know their names. You're like, oh, I know him from this. I know her from this she did this show he did this movie but you they're not household names no they're not outside of melanie griffith which then that's the one where i was like oh yeah melanie griffith then i'm looking through her imdb and i'm like what the fuck have i ever seen her i think you know her from tabloids just being just from, Melanie from Griffith. From the news? Yeah. She was on an episode of I mean, Working The Working Girl is the one I think the majority of humans would know her from. I don't know if I've ever seen Working Girl. Mm. I saw the, the, the other version with Julia Roberts. <laughs> you probably know her from the Simpsons episode. and so That's you, entirely possible. That is a, a so giant like, oh, possibility. <laughs> Melanie Griffith. Got it. <laughs> so this movie was directed by a guy named Steve Jarnett. Day Jarnett. Sorry. Ah, that's where, that's where Le Car comes he from. He drives a Le Car. Steve <laughs> he directed one other movie called Miracle Mile that has a higher rating than this, but I've never heard Go of it. Go on. Either. It has Anthony Edwards in it. Go on. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> it's shorter than this. All right. I'm in. I am already in. It's like 96 minutes. Oh, damn I think it, it was Derek. 87 minutes. I looked because the storyline is about a guy who gets a warning that there's 70 minutes until his city gets hit by a nuclear bomb. So I was like, oh, so the movie's 70 minutes long? Let me guess. He found a, a fuck bot. <laughs> well, I think it's a, I think it's a prequel. obsessed with sex bots. It's a prequel to Cherry 2000. So he so found a mannequin. He's building fuck bots. He's building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the second biggest bomb that we have done on this show, as far as I know. I could be surprised. This movie cost about ten million dollars to make, which surprised me. Yeah, because that's why you did post-apocalyptic movies in the eighties. They're cheap. You go out in the middle of the desert and shoot a movie. Yeah, but I mean, ten million is not that much. They really. had a I lot mean, of sets in the desert. It made fourteen thousand dollars. What? <laughs> what's the what's the reverse of? <laughs> 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 um, it was shot in 1985. It was supposed to be released in 1986. Never was. And then it came out in Europe. And then it eventually came out in home video in the United States in 1988. Is so, this like, I don't know, maybe you didn't research this at all. Is this like a cult classic or is this just kind of obscure? I don't know. I mean, it, it, the fact that it's available on 
Amazon tells you that somebody's watching it. It's not on Tubi. So there's that. Well, it's on one of those. It's on Pluto. Yeah, it was on. It one might cause... be on Tubi also. Okay, if it's on Tubi, there's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Anything, obscure. Cult I think classic. I mentioned before. Maybe it wasn't on here. Maybe we were just talking about it. Tubi is just a guy going to like thrift stores and <laughs> buying VHS sales. tapes and then converting them and putting them on the internet. Yep. <laughs> I can see that. Definitely. He's like, look, guys, I got 500 new movies. Oh, what'd you spend? 300 bucks. <laughs> I got Ooh. Frogman Frogman 2 or Frogtown 2. Frogman 2, Electric Frogaloo. <laughs> but sometimes you do find really awesome gems on on those sales. Oh, no, for sure. That's But you're going to have to sift through some really bad ones. There's there's somebody that you... I don't know if you know him, but every, Derek knows him. For every Miami Connection... There's like 10 Cherry 2000s. Uh, and a slipstream. The funny thing is, you know, I, I buy these DVDs or Blu-rays. I don't buy DVDs. <laughs> I buy these Blu-rays and what 4K year is this? And shit from like Vinegar Syndrome. And like somebody in one of the groups on Facebook was like, you guys know these movies are all available on Tubi, right? <laughs> and I was like, That would be me. Like, you want some <laughs> free digital media? Like, yeah, they're available on Tubi, but they're like VHS rips that are like mono soundtracks. I need it to be in glorious 4K so I can see the dummy. Catch on fire. Oh, you're that not is wrong. My favorite yeah. Part. yeah, we need some good dummy work. We need the good uh, 4K resolution of dummy work <laughs> all the time. Uh, I will. So, s- oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I will say that uh, there was one glorious CG part here. Oh, flying into <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> that one was fun. Yeah, it was like a composite thing where it's like you take the. A, an image of a plane flying, and then they just cut out the sky, and then they put in like their really bad signs in the desert. When the plane flew around, too, they could see like there were signs sticking out of the dirt, and they were like clearly just images that were put on top of like the film. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I like it. Uh, so we start the movie with this like this woman getting dressed and putting on makeup or putting on lipstick and like rubbing her Bright belly very red sensually. Lipstick. Yeah. And uh, there's this guy pulls up in this stupid little three wheel car. It looks like the I think they're called Scorpions that we have now. That's like just yeah, they're the reverse trikes. Yeah, it's a concept for a futuristic vehicle. And look, we have them. Well, the only people who drive those things around are like old retired guys and Rob Deirdrick. <laughs> <laughs> and so like it's it's targeted at boomers. Yeah, like, I guess like Rob Deirdrick. I don't know. Just like Rob Deirdrick. And- <laughs> you know why they they have them now because of this movie. That's what yeah. I was going to say. You know who who would have seen this movie? 1987. I mean, some Gen Xers, but mostly like boomers. One day we'll be mine. He was that old in 86. Rob Deirdre? <laughs> 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 Maybe. Does he have the button disease? <laughs> the belly button disease? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this girl doesn't have a belly button disease because no. there's a long shot of her stomach while she just rubs it sensually because this movie is PG-13. Because if it was R, they're, they're they would have been nipples. Yeah, they're pushing PG-13. Apparently, there was shadow boob. There were shadow tits. Shadow nerps. <laughs> um, and then this, there's this future house. This guy, so this guy pulls up. Sam Treadwell. He's got his little three-wheel car. Pulls up uh, on the fucking lawn. Yep. He's played like by a, a guy named David Andrews who, I, I mean, I think... The only thing I know him from is Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Uh, I, I only know it because I watched it last week. He's one of the brothers in Wyatt Earp. He's like James Earp. I would not have picked that out if I wouldn't have watched it last week. And he goes into this future house that looks like a house from those videos where it was like the house of the future. It's almost back to the future too. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Like not quite as future, but just as sterile. And there's all yes. these crazy things like an induction stovetop. <laughs> a, a dome that suds a, a lethal amount of water out onto the yeah, floor. Yeah, like the dishwasher is just a dome full of soap, and you throw your dishes in there. And they come and out sparkling. One of my least favorite things that'll happen in a movie happens here. There's a meal, a full meal <laughs> oh, of sorts, God, right? and you take maybe a bite, if not I think none. He ate one French yeah, fry. Yeah, fuck that. Give me this burger. It looked like a shitty plain it hamburger. Did look like a plain hamburger, but with still, lima beans and French fries. Did Lima Beans like sponsor this movie? I do they, they make so. a return. Them in toaster well, ovens. You see what it was? Was they were they spent all their money on the amazing like special effects in this movie? Yeah. So and when all they, that talent, they were looking for the the food to put in the movie. They just went to the Salvation Army and bought those big like white bags and just say <laughs> U.S. government beans. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want for you dinner. Know, the prepper U.S. The prepper government food. beans. <laughs> uh, and since we also see the robot, which I. Spoiler alert, she's a robot. This oh, girl yeah. named Cherry. Well, they, again, we don't know this. 
But she's Cherry 2000. She's a robot. She's played by a woman named Pamela Gidley. Again, nothing. A nobody in my in my brain. And Never seen her. They're drinking wine out of a hydro flask. Oh, so another predicting the future. Fu- another future prediction. <laughs> and they have these like kind of sweet wine glasses. Like Dude, other I than the want fact that they're glasses. very thick. Like it's like it's the stem and it's got this cool like swirl and like this like crystal kind of design. But I noticed that the rims were like like a half inch, quarter, three quarter inch thick. Mm-hmm. And so you don't warm it up too much. Well, you're not, you shouldn't be holding it there. But like the like wine glasses need to come to like a, they need to be thin at the end. I like how you're both trying to put rhyme and reason into how to use this cup. I want Sorry, them. Sorry, glass. Oh, no, I want them too. Well, they also I, don't drink out of those either. I will so. always enjoy uh, um, somebody's take on futuristic drinkware. Whether it's a sci-fi TV show, and I mean like the channel sci-fi, C-fi. or a, a Siffy, or a <laughs> science fiction movie that's in the future, I like I like what you think it's going to look like in I agree with twenty that. to a thousand years. I mean, some of the stuff was right, right? We got yeah. hydro flask. We've got like it was literally like an induction cooktop. Wine in a hydro flask. Yeah. That's a big thing in my family. <laughs> <laughs> you know those uh, it's because hydro we're flasks that take to work. You think they're full of water? <laughs> Got to stay hydrated. Well, they start filled with water, but <laughs> since I'm related to Jesus, I can sometimes turn them into wine. <laughs> I hope you could do it backwards if I get pulled over. <laughs> Quick, hide that ship. Bing. <laughs> it's even you have to make that noise. The cops like, what was that? I'm like, oh, uh, I Tourette's. This is not Tourette's. the wine you are looking for. <laughs> oh wait, shit! I don't know how to do that. <laughs> That's Obi Wan Kenobi. The Force is with you. I think Jesus was a Jedi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He did that mind trick. And on also all those with people. you. And also with you. Oh God! Every time. <laughs> May, the, May force the Force be, be with, with you. you. And, and also, also with, with you. Damn it! <laughs> It's just ingrained in my yep. soul. I don't want to be this way. <laughs> so my, my next note says orgasm bubbles. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So yeah, goodness. The, the thing is sudsing over, and they're just There's rolling around in the suds and the a water. A torrential amount of water coming out of this dishwasher. We I, don't... Guess, I guess he doesn't care because he knows she's a robot. Like, and he th- If she doesn't short circuit, which she does, but she'll clean it up. Oh, God, no. It's just a <laughs> mess. It is just a mess. It's not sexy. Soap it's not. is not sexy. Well, and you think about it, it's not just... Water and bubbles, like where are those bubbles coming from? There's soap in here, right? An, un, an uneaten hamburger. Just, then, yeah, she just tossed the whole thing in there. So there's just going to be this residue, this film over everything in your kitchen. It's just the worst design for an appliance. It Turns is. out it doesn't matter because I don't know if he ever goes home. So no, no, no. He lives. He lives under the uh, the waterfall now, or wherever that fucking place was. <laughs> he lives in the glory hole now. He lives in the glory it hole was, with a I throne wanna, made of toaster ovens. I want to say uh, the Hoover Dam. Yeah, you can want to say that, but that's where it was. But was they can't it? because it's copyright. I say what did they, did they actually say it, or you just know that? I've been there. I know, but did I've they? I've been did on they, the dam. <laughs> the dam tour. I took the dam tour. <laughs> No, but did they did they mention it all, or no, are you just they knew didn't. it was but there? They, they said you're in Reno and Vegas, so God, gotcha. well, this the... takes place in the year 2017, so maybe it's oh, the it Schumer Dam. Yeah. So it's the Schumer Dam. They renamed it after Amy Schumer. Ah, oh, good. Oh. She was the biggest comedian when the world ended. <laughs> you know, because she had that six months. <laughs> she had that hot six months. So the robot short circuits, and he takes her to this guy, some creepy robot. Johnny repairman. Five, no alive. Yeah, and basically he's like, she had an internal meltdown. She's fucked. And Looks here dude, like she was fucking in some soap. <laughs> this dude is obsessed with this robot because he, he this guy takes him. He's like, let's get you a new one. He takes him in the back where oh. there's Robbie the robot from Forbidden Planet, uh-huh. which I, I looked it up. It is Robbie the robot. Okay, I thought it was the Danger Will Robinson. Yeah, no, it's and Forbidden Planet's a great movie by the way. If you've seen it, Leslie yeah. Nielsen. It's from the fifties or sixties. He already has white hair. It's before he was funny. Like, well, he was probably funny, but it was he before was he was being funny. Roles. It's a fucking dope movie. Okay, and then it's also got the Day the Earth Stood Still robot. I got the that good, one right. One, not the Keanu one. Uh huh. But how does he take them to the back? <laughs> oh, on like a they little. They don't walk. No, they're, they're, <laughs> on, they're on like a little. It's like, like a couch. A couch it's on like wheels. Recliner the, chairs on wheels. Think of think <laughs> of the most bumper car. Laid back <laughs> roller coaster ride. Think about that recliner from Sidekicks uh-huh. from the fantasy, right? Go where he on. puts the guy in it and pushes him down. Yes. Where the guy's playing the Batman villain, mm-hmm. remember? Where Joe Piscopo is the Batman villain. It's that kind of couch or chair that you can just go anywhere. But it's on like a track. Yes. Is it on track? Okay. Yeah, I think because so. Because they're just rolling through. Well, and uh, besides Universal Robbie the Studios. Robot and the Earth Stood Still, there's all these sex bots, and one of them is definitely like an 11-year-old girl. Have a seat. Oh, yeah, have a have fucking a, have seat. Have the biggest fucking seat. I don't care if you made her or not. That might even be creep. Nope, it's creepy either way. Yep. Have a seat. Yeah. Super fucking creepy. I, mean, I don't know that it's creepier because fucking a kid is fucked up. That's why I stopped it. Die. I was like, well, but there's, there's, no, there's no better. The fact that you built a child robot to fuck 
yeah. is not better. I mean, it is a young uh, uh, robot dressed girl. even younger. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And basically, use your imagination and then throw your, tell your imagination to have a seat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Call Chris Hansen on your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this guy, I took him as a, uh, just to get off of that, um, it said at the very front, like body shop. And so I'm a, I'm putting him akin huh. to a mechanic because yes. he's talking about this like, man, they don't make him like they Wait, used so to. so this is like the arms dealer in Rambo 3? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam has, wants nothing to do with it. Like the guy is literally talking about a model and turns around and he's gone. He's and trying Sam's to sell back him one out of those there new... finger banging his dead robot friend. God, he is like obsessed with her. He, even when she went like the power out we we kind of surmise that he was crying but it looks like he's gonna keep going yeah and i guess he so he gets this they call it a chip but it's, it's my a little robot. tiny disc <laughs> do they not know the difference between a chip and a disc in the 80s i mean not they had in, cds yeah not in 86 it's a, a miniature laser disc it's a little tiny cd thing you can see it it's size only of, an inch big the size of a quarter or, bit, or a yeah. silver dollar I would say quarter. It's like her entire memory, and so his whole goal is he wants to find a new Cherry 2000, which I guess is a hard-to-find model. People act like he's a fucking creep for asking for this model, and I don't really understand why. I think because it's an old model, like we've kind of addressed thanks to this body shop creep, um, that they don't make them anymore. Maybe like this was the height of civilization before collapse, because okay. just to fast-forward a little bit, they go to find another one in like the remains of uh, a, a big city. So I think, like, you know, whatever disaster or war, I think disaster, not war, took the, this I mean, He mentions the society. border wars at some point, too. I, and I, 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 I heard that, but I feel like the border wars is like zone, or what do they, what do they call them? Section 7 versus Section 6. Okay. Because I like, just, I don't know, there's, there's not a lot of war-torn looking stuff, but there's yeah. a lot of, I don't know, there's not a lot overflowing of earth. There's Anaheim where he's from, and then there's empty desert. Yeah, <laughs> I liked your theory though, only because you thought the sign said something else. But what if this is what happened because of all the fracking and mm -hmm. just like natural disasters everywhere? That's where I thought they were going. I swear, I thought that sign said "death to frackers." No, it was, it was death, death to, to trackers. trackers. And we see that that we we know later we do not like trackers. Yeah, no, yeah. we do. There not. will not be trackers in this dojo. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, so Sam decides to go. He goes to back to work, and he's all sad. And nah. he's like a, an executive in a recycling plant, which sure. is very important, I guess, because this place is full of people who are, have full shopping carts of shit they're recycling. All in business it, suits, too. Including, <laughs> by the way, a guy with like a, an entire pack of toilet paper. Like, you know, you don't need to recycle that, right? You can just use shells that. now. You could, yeah, this, that's true. They have the three seashells at this point. Oh, I don't know how to use the three shells. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use the seashells. Shit, fuck, piss, ass. Did I talk before? I don't know if I did on here about. I, I saw a thing online where it was like Sylvester Stallone's idea of how you use the seashells. There, yeah, I've seen. I've seen how you're supposed to use them. Well, his idea it sounds awful. Um, so you take two of the shells and you. You pinch the loaf and you pull it out, and then you use the third shell to scrape. Who needs to pull the loaf I don't, out? I don't know. I guess like someone who Is consumes HGH. Somebody who <laughs> fucking eats creatine. Yeah, a guy who only eats creatine and fucking Botox. Drink some whiskey, boy. I had about 36 raw eggs this morning. <laughs> That'll slide right out. Just to get me started. So he works with these two weird dudes who don't come back. They're very over-the-top actors. I this don't... whole part, front part of this movie doesn't come back. Yeah. There's yeah. a whole other movie here, and then we just... <laughs> <laughs> we walk out of it. And the only reason I bring them up is because they're the ones who are like, hey, you need to go get over your fuck bot. We'll take you out to meet some real girls. And they take him to a place called the Clue Clue Club. But he is a welcome back to the times. show. I can't even say it once. There's the the one the one friend, quote unquote, is welcome back to the show. He was from uh he was the killer The oh Killer and God. Twins. Oh, we didn't do that on But the we didn't show. do Never that. Mind. No, well, not yet. <laughs> no, that we just we watched, watched that. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys watched Twins without me. Welcome back Scorn. to my life. Gorn. <laughs> Um, and well, you're watching Renegade without us. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so, so, like, I don't know, it's just a weird sex club, but with like lawyers and like, yeah, I don't. Everybody at this table is like, all right, my client will make this deal if your tongue doesn't go in her mouth. Yeah, you know, it's like, all right, yeah, because she says, says like that's a deal in his in her mouth. Which that's is a, a deal weird... breaker, is what she says. Yeah. So I mean, it's like a a sex contract. Which hey, you know what? Let's be let's be upfront about what our do's and don'ts are for sex. That's fair. we don't need a lawyer there. Don't kiss me. Yeah. But, yeah. but if the lawyer is Lawrence Fishburne, then well, that's the other one. back in though. Yeah, now we get to Lawrence Fishburne. It's like, all right, he can be there during the negotiations and the sex. Yeah, we see him for a split second, and Jack was like, 
Is that Lawrence Fishburne? Oh no, he and called him you, something else. And then you hear, oh, Lord, Larry Fish, Larry Fish, Larry, Fish. <laughs> Larry Fishburne. That's what I wrote. Yeah, um, I, we're on a first name basis though, so it's different. <laughs> I just call him the Fish. We I were pretty tight. <laughs> But like I didn't see him because he had these Elf big fish. sunglasses on and stuff at first. And he had this weird like high top fade with like a gray line around mm-hmm. it. So like I didn't see him at first, but then he spoke off camera, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're noticing like as soon you as he speaks, voice. like yep, undeniable. That's Cowboy Curtis. Right I would there. be I would be <laughs> negotiating with him. Be like, man, can can he stay during the sex and just kind of gently can thrust my him? hips? Like, can he thrust me into you? Can he Is thrust that, me into him? Yeah. Oh no, he can't thrust you into him. Why not? That's not how science works. But I that's want not him. how sex works. That's what I want. I All want right. him. Yo, well, you better get a Lawrence Fishburne fuckbot. <laughs> Larry 2000. Cousin, look it up. <laughs> Morpheus 2000. It would be a 2020. I mean, I kind of, as soon as this chick was found to be a robot, I was like, all right, are we watching a Blade Runner type movie? Like, who's a yeah. robot and who's not? Because the two friends that take him to the club are off. Like, they're, they're super like, odds, so yeah. I, I don't know if their direction as the movie was to kind of be old school uh, uh, detective. Yeah, like noir detectives. Like, I want to punch him in the mouth. See, he's got to go this way. Gotta stop fucking the robots. Stop fucking real girls. See, look at this, Damon. I'll shove my tongue down her throat. See? She doesn't like that. See? <laughs> look at my high pants. See, uh, look at my high, look how high my, my, my pants are. Look how many black eyes my wife has. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a real detective. Um, Making them sloppy eggs. Speaking of noir detectives, so we went and saw the Barbie movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. So this this episode is not going to come out until September, but we're recording it in July, guys. We're trying to get ahead here. Yeah. You're behind but the scenes now. We went and saw the Barbie movie the other day, and you know people have been dressing up to go see it, whatever, right? Wearing pink and everything. There was Stupid. this kid. Wearing, he looked like fucking oh, Dick Tracy, he did. but it was pink. <laughs> he had a pink trench coat and a pink fedora. That's slick, Tracy. Oh, goodness, yeah, I was like, that is awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> he was fabulous. Good for him. That's All great. The By the way, I mean, it's way too late now. It's probably not in theaters anymore, but you guys should see that movie. It's good. Yeah, I'll rent it when this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had so fun watching it. One weird thing in this theater, in this theater, in this <laughs> sex club, just thing. just one thing. <laughs> well, there's a lot, but when he's talking to this girl, who I think must be a robot, a sex bot. No, I don't. She's think trying she to is. like. She's trying to hook up with him. I from, think she's a sex money. worker. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there are sex workers. I feel like all the sex workers are robots. No, I, I think she's a real person. Oh, no, maybe person. that was the point of this place, right? Because they said yeah. we're going to take you to meet a real yeah. girl. So normally Otherwise, I'd be on your side, but I think this is just a sex worker. Yeah. Um, so normally you're fucking robots. At this place, you go to fuck people. because she's So she has this little, like fucking magic eight ball that she shows sex videos in kind of and she's showing this guy her video of her fucking this other dude it's steve i think it's steve i met him <laughs> here last month and it looked like there were tentacles in there There was like a, was a pool weird. cleaning hose wrapped around them <laughs> yeah, i think it's supposed to look up, sci-fi right? Right? Like, yeah, pool oh, cleaning yeah. hose, so like he was using the sucking end so he was still fucking a robot <laughs> robot <laughs> suckage it's a threesome with a real person it's and a, a robot it's a two and, and a half some at best <laughs> A 2.0 some, you might but, say. But yeah, and and later in the movie, uh, our our girls getting explained to her about the big city, and the guy says, uh, Uncle John says, like, oh, there's the, everyone's peddling for sex. There's uh, girls with demo reels, so that's what this is. Okay, okay. She okay. goes around to other guys and like, here's my demo reel. Now let's negotiate price, I guess. Yeah, yeah because then she's like, okay, now, you know, you aren't you supposed to show me something? And I thought, like, it was like a thing where it's like, you show, I'll show you my sex video. That's, you show what, me I that's, also. that's what I thought in but fair play. But then he's like, oh, I can't because my card's expired. And this lady loses her fucking mind. Flips a lid. He's the biggest piece of shit in the planet to her. Yeah. Like, why are you even here if your card's expired? You fucking asshole. It's like Hitler going into a sex club. Wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> Yeah, because you know she could have gotten so much more work in that eleven seconds she talked to this guy. Yeah, right? yeah, you really wasted eleven seconds. <laughs> and then there's like a weird flashback to the body shop guy, which I don't know why we didn't just have this conversation then, where he tells him like, "Hey, you can get a new Cherry Two Thousand robot, but you'll have to go go to the glory hole." Let's <laughs> leave that's that. That's a location. Laid. Yeah, it sounds like you're fucking it up, but yeah. no, no, that's the line. <laughs> Go to the glory hole and find a tracker named Johnson. That was a sentence said in this house. Yeah. yeah. So get the Johnson from the glory hole. Oh, no, that's what else you get the glory hole. <laughs> Just Johnson. So this guy drives to the glory hole and this future is very liberated because right on the sign it says glory hole 10 miles. Yeah. This and town now, right also. Nowadays, if you want to find one, you got to go around to weird sex shops and go in there and be like, you got to. 
you know. Oh, you're looking in all the wrong places, bud. <laughs> well, you could, I mean, if you don't want to have to ask somebody, you just go to like a truck stop. <laughs> What's 15 miles away, though? Uh, the rule of law ends 15 miles away. <laughs> Mad Max territory. Yes, yep. sir. And we go there. Um, I like this town, though, because you've got his little stupid three-wheeled motorist, motor vehicle. Then you've got Le Car. Le Car. With what? Which is like a little, it looks like a two-door Yugo. Yeah. But it has a rocket launcher mounted to the real, top of it. It's a real car. Le Car is a real car. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I think, okay. I think it was, I read a little I thing, but I don't know I'm, enough I'm about it. I'm late confused. I read a thing on the on the trivia, but I don't know anything about cars. Yeah. So it is like a real car, I, sans rocket launcher. Probably a yes. failed vehicle. Yeah. I want to say. Sounds like a Simpsons joke. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld had it on one of his episodes of can I say the show? Yeah. Comedians drinking or comedians getting coffee. I don't know. Can you say the show? Can you? Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like you can't. I can't say it. Comedians it's in com- cars getting coffee. Something with the like Ku Klux that. Klan. <laughs> I think those don't start with C's. <laughs> <laughs> the new version is all K's. Uh, the Ku Klux Club is all with C's. <laughs> Whatever this fucking sex yeah, place is Club. called. <laughs> I guess that's a good. Uh, well, they just Lawrence Fishburne was in there. Yeah. Uh, so also, yeah, in this town, there's he's like, just a sex robot in my mind. <laughs> so there's Lake Car, there's his future car, and then there's horses, horses hitched to, up. There's cowboys. Uh huh. There's a guy in a tiny sombrero. <laughs> this is like <laughs> ten town. things I hate about you. And they're going through the high school, and there's like the cowboys that are roping. There's the jocks. There's the models. There's the skateboarders. There's yeah. the burnouts. It's either that or it's warriors. <laughs> Come out and play. <laughs> So he goes in to check into this place, and there's a lady at the desk who's like, hey, no no robots after 11, because we have plenty of Freds and Johns and Marilyns. Yeah, I need to know about these. Like, Freds and Johns, I can kind of make up Marilyns. Okay. Well, so, like, I guess they just call the models by their name, but then he's like, do you have any cherries? And this guy standing where there gives him a weird look, and she's like, yeah, where are you from? And, like, I'm like, it's a fucking robot. Who cares? Yeah. I'm like, whatever. They don't really address. She why says you weird. can't have robots in here because we have plenty. Yeah, we like, have our own. Yeah, like, so you, the, you don't have to bring an outside robot. It lets us, the audience, know sex bots are not uncommon. Yeah, Cherry Two Thousand is. Yeah. So then he sees the sign right next to the glory hole, or the glory hole motel <laughs> hotel. He, he saw the sign. It opened up his eyes. <laughs> I do like that it was only a dollar thirty six for him to rent this room for the oh, night. Oh yeah, for the night a dollar thirty six. Surprised we're still using money and not like ice cubes or some shit in the future. I need one point three six bottle caps. He gives her two dollars, <laughs> yeah, right? And uh, she keeps the change. Oh, that's the tip. That's for clean linens. <laughs> that's, that's that's a, a good hell tip. Of a tip. Yeah, <laughs> he's Treadwell. He's got extra money to <laughs> like spare. I don't 40%. even know what I do for shit. a living. Also, I didn't like. We didn't know. I guess we still don't. Does everybody carry guns in Anaheim? Because like he's getting ready to leave, and he grabs a pistol. And when he gets out of this vehicle, he grabs a shotgun. I think that was because he's going to Glory Hole, and Glory yeah. Hole is like the Wild West. But you just own these guns if you live in, live in Anaheim anyway. Well, it, it is the future. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, don't take my guns. You have away. them now. Yeah. Don't you dare take even post-apocalyptic. Don't you? It's dare the only touch amendment these guns. they have left. They're still coming for our guns. <laughs> no, I just don't didn't know. I, I wanted more information about the surviving world. Yeah, we don't really get any background, which is like, it's okay and it sucks because it's like, you don't know what's going on, but also like, sometimes these movies get too bogged down in telling you what happened and what's going on and, and that's an extra 20 minutes in the movie and at the end, it doesn't really matter anyway. On that note, what were you movie. saying about that? Yeah, on that note, I don't often say this, but this could have benefited from a scroll, an opening scroll to just like, in the year 2017. In the year 2017. Ice Cube. Cubes are money. Money <laughs> is toilet paper. Robots are for fucking. <laughs> yeah, you know, something. Just something to give us a little like. Exposition. Why is it like this? Why yeah. is this? Why is it like this? Is this guy normal or is he just a fucking? You know, weirdo? that's a question yeah. I ask on a daily basis anyway. <laughs> why is, is the world like this? Why is it? You know, I, we're still we're still going to be asking it in this 2017 version <laughs> of future. So he sees the sign for E Johnson Tracker, and at the bottom it says "Never says no." Oh. So that's why he was sent to find Johnson. You might want to say no every now and then, by the way. Yeah. So he goes in and there's it's dark and it's whatever. And he gets attacked by this little redhead girl who turns out to be E. Johnson, played by Melanie Griffith. And he's telling her that he wants to go get a Cherry 2000 robot. And she's like, this isn't a dating service. Like, what the fuck? I go out and find people or like supplies or what? I, I track what things. I'm a tracker. I track things. Yeah. That very general or uh, generic things, term. I fuck bots. Yeah. 
I, we don't really know what a tracker is except for somebody that goes over into other sectors. Yeah, the which are, seven or whatever and yeah, are not not friendly to us. Yeah, and I, I guess I didn't notice that the hotel only cost $1.36 because I made note that he was like, I'll pay you $500. And I was like, dude, if you offered me $500 right now to go find you something, I'd be like, man, it's hot outside. Fuck no, $500. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do some day trading. $500? <laughs> what am I going to do? Buy a six pack and a tank of gas? <laughs> Maybe get some pizza. <laughs> Store bought. Depending on how far out of, out of the way the pizza is. Yeah. Because I just bought that gas. And I don't want to waste <laughs> it all. So she tells him she'll go on one condition that Sam has to go with her to like watch her back, which... Why? I mean, I understand that she needs someone to help her. It's the most dangerous area. But like this guy? Him? Yeah. Him? Okay. He has a gun. Okay, movie. Like Maybe that's (laughs) why. I just need a lookout. Yeah, Yeah, he has a gun now, but not when he goes back to her in a minute. (laughs) He has no guns. (laughs) No, I think he still has a pistol, but... Nope, they took everything. They took everything? Okay, so... He he goes into this saloon. She picks really well, then. (laughs) This is where he gets it all taken. He goes into this saloon, and the first thing we see is this goth Victorian synth new wave oh boy oh my band gosh, yeah i like, don't know what this band this is, is like this is i'll tell you what this is this is a rejected concept for like a blade nightclub <laughs> like, okay. this, this, this is, is they threw this in the trash this is my chemical romance from victorian age <laughs> <laughs> how dare Stuck you in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is where we see the guy with the tiny sombrero i love it just a big fat dude with this like a child's sombrero you on. couldn't <laughs> have found a better hat to make a big dude look bigger <laughs> i mean a tiny fez wouldn't have been as good as this fucking little teeny tiny sombrero <laughs> i'm sad i missed it oh man oh we want to watch it again i was gonna no. say i'm pretty sure uh <laughs> husband bought that I yeah, know. I own it now. Ow! It was a dollar more to own it. I know. Yeah, I mean, to own this movie was a dollar seventy-three for him. That's worth owning almost yeah. anything for a buck seventy-three, <laughs> dude. You might own your parents' sex tape. I wouldn't. Ew. I mean, I guess I could buy it. I'm not gonna watch it though. <laughs> I have. It's like the ring. If you watch it, you gotta kill yourself <laughs> within seven days. You'll die. T- you you don't know how, but it's gonna be suicide. <laughs> it's just burned in your eyes. <laughs> uh, so they, there's he's trying to find. This other bounty hunter that she said she used to work with, Six Finger Jake. Six Finger Jake. And they tell him that Six Finger Jake is dead. Uh, I want to say this actor's name is Brian James. Brian James. This played- is, a. I mean, you talk about a character actor. This guy is a, a still, I think he's still alive. But, I mean, working, he's like 277 entries on yep. IMDb. He's in everything. And you'll know him from, from, from big stuff, too. Yeah, Go ahead. Most well-known, for me at least, like when I first see him as... Uh, he's like general or whatever in Fifth Element. Um, he's the very first uh, uh, being interviewed by Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. Yes, yes. He's in something that we just recently watched. A movie that we will be doing on this show, even though it's awesome, but it definitely belongs on the show, called Nightmare at Noon, yes. starring yeah. George Kennedy. Brian James is in that as a character called the Albino, who's like an evil scientist. And then I'm going to try and pitch it to you for a later episode as Cabin Boy with Chris Elliott. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm have gonna a pitch seat. You this cabin boy. I'm gonna pitch you this cabin boy. You started saying cabin, and I was like, fever? No, cabin boy with Chris Elliott. Okay, I don't know that one. It is awful, but I have loved it. <laughs> I think it's Brian James at this point who says Vavoom, which I just uh-huh. wrote down because it's fun. Because uh-huh. who says Vavoom? This guy. Because he's talking about Cherry 2000. This isn't a, this isn't That's fucking... what it is. He's like, what are you looking for? And he's like, Cherry 2000. Vavoom. Yeah, I'm like, this isn't a Betty Boop cartoon. Who the fuck says Vavoom? I think they're trying to blend everything. Like, we've already gotten those noir detective type guys. You've yeah. got this fucking it's a, it's Victorian like goth thing, band. But they didn't know which direction they were going. Absolutely. They all went in their own direction. But then he's the one who tells him, like, no, Jake is still alive. He just doesn't like publicity. So come with me. I'll take you to Jake. And he takes him outside. Oh, by the way, he's got this big dude with him named Earl who he says is deaf. He's just eating yeah. donuts. He don't hear so yeah, well. He, yeah, they take him, They take Sam outside and go around this corner, and then they try to rob him. And Brian James says something to Earl, like, take his gun or drop the gun. Drop the gun. He tells, he tells Sam, drop the gun, and Earl throws his gun down. He's like, not you. <laughs> you <laughs> weasel. Which way did he go, George? Weasel There's brain. cats yowling all through this fucking <laughs> scene, too. Every time anything gets dropped or thrown, <laughs> One thing I did notice, because obviously he's, he drops the gun, he says drop the gun, and then he's talking, and he's like, I thought that guy was deaf. And the guy goes, I read lips. Okay, <laughs> that's great. behind him. <laughs> that's great, exactly, <laughs> except for that guy, the guy you just responded to had his back.
back of his head to you. <laughs> this, this, uh, there's so many people I want in this movie more, and these two are are up there. They yes. do not yeah. come back. We're we're no, done with them it. as soon as he gives them the old vavoom, you yeah. know, out. All he does is run around a corner and then start walking. Leisurely walks. Like he puts his hand in his pocket and might as well be whistling. He's like, but yeah, when he <laughs> knocks these guys over, they fall through a sign and it's like <laughs> And then he runs around a corner and like hits a fence and get another <laughs> The, the future is, is covered just, with cats, which yes. gives me hope. Oh, that was another thing. There, it, well, it's it, because the, they're vermin, and that's why the, they survived. In the glory How dare hole. You. <laughs> in the glory in hole. In the glory hole, there was a in cat the in a water jug, a five-gallon water jug. Oh, yeah. Uh, huh. On the desk of the uh, <laughs> the, the hotel. Oh, the glory hole clerk. Notes. Yeah. The glory hole clerk had a five-gallon water jug on the thing. You know, with the... I remember seeing it now that you guys are saying it, and I feel like I saw a cat in a jug and was just like, yeah. That, that's the future. <laughs> At first movie. I thought it was a hologram, but no, it was a cat licking the water yeah, jug. Yeah, because uh, what's her name from Beetlejuice uh, starts feeding the cat. <laughs> she's, Lydia? She's dressed like Lydia from Beetlejuice, <laughs> dude. The black veil and everything. And with a little hole in the veil so she can put her little cigarette. Uh huh. I think that might have been an opium pipe in this movie, though. Oh, maybe. <laughs> well, Lydia might have had one, too. Yeah. Speaking of Lydia, is anybody excited for Beetlejuice 2? No. I am. No. I, I, I have. What are we, 40, to no hope. 40 years? Yes. Yeah. 40, 40 years or, yeah. or about that, maybe? So, yeah. so Fuck Gina off. Davis has said that she's not going to be in the movie. Her and Alec Baldwin won't be in the movie. And I love Gina, Gina Davis. Gina Davis said. It doesn't make sense because why, ghosts wouldn't age, and so you know I'm not going to do it. That's her nice way of saying I don't want to do this stupid movie. <laughs> yeah, Michael Keaton's doing it. He's a ghost. Go he's a but he's got ghost. all that makeup on. Yeah, but you're going to tell me that that makeup's going to hide 40 yes. years. I guess in in Beetlejuice he already kind of looked like he does now, right? Yeah, so just less makeup. <laughs> yeah, they'll just put less makeup. They'll just give him a blonde. Keeps wig. getting funnier every time I see it. <laughs> Hi, I just Dad. I don't know. I have I have little to no hope. I mean, it's him. It's it's. Um, Lydia. Hey, you got Winona. Winona, Winona Ryder. Ryder. And, it's, then, it's and the then girl Jenna from... Ortega. Jenna Ortega yeah. is playing Jenna Lydia's Ortega daughter. Jenna Ortega is pretty cool. We just watched the movie X, which is a horror movie where some people are making porn and then they all get murdered. I recommend that. Ooh, it's, it's I like that. Awesome. It's like a throwback Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of feel, like a yeah. 70s thing, but like it's a dope movie. Sounds yeah. It sounds entertaining. Yeah. It was. And she's good <laughs> in it, but like... And she was fine in that new, those two new Scream movies. She was really but good I don't, I just as don't Wednesday. Have I didn't watch That's that. why I don't like her for this, because she's already Wednesday. You don't need to put her in Beetlejuice. I don't care. I like it. You can like her at all you want. Yeah, isn't you Wednesday, don't have to like isn't it. Wednesday I don't. just Lydia? Mm-hmm. Little or bit. isn't Lydia just Wednesday, I guess, technically? Yeah, it would be that way. Yeah. Lydia is just Wednesday. But Lydia was the cooler Wednesday, because I never liked the Addams Family. Oh, I love the Addams Family. Why and Richie. married? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't have any other options. You guys want to? You want to do this? Up. All right. I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> you treat me awesomely. I keep dating all these assholes. This guy at least pays the bills. Uh, do you take this? Yeah. Do you? Sure. Uh, were you at our wedding? I was. <laughs> I was the priest. No, Edward was. You take off the mask though, and it was old man Jack. <laughs> And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling kids. I wouldn't have gotten away with it if it wasn't for these meddling mushrooms. <laughs> That's why I always say we're in a gay marriage, because Edward married us. Oh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, he goes back and he tells Johnson, hey, you've got the job. And she's like, yeah, that's what I figured. And pulls the tarp off this 65 Mustang it with is these beautiful. giant fucking tires, this off-road Mustang. And it's got it's like rallied out. Car. Yeah. I, I don't know how well i mean i guess i was like i don't know how well it would really work with those it wouldn't have the same power with those tires but she's got a jet engine it, yeah it's so. okay the jet engine is is in full <laughs> effect in this mustang it's a beauty car yeah it's pretty sweet and she's driving through driving down this highway with no lights on presumably to not be seen as much by like marauders and stuff yeah but her car has a jet engine and, and a bright light bright red light on the inside yep and he's like can't you can't see where you're going why can't you see where you're going Can i you see drive where you're going? by feel mostly yeah mostly who the fuck are you ray charles all i can say <laughs> <laughs> all i can say is she said i drive by feel and she didn't crash later in the movie this guy drives with his eyeballs and crashes right into a <laughs> dude wall. this car has an alarm when it gets close to pro like a proximity alarm and he still crashed into a mountain that snuck it's, up on him it's like in uh, mission impossible where it's like uh uh, landscape, pull up, landscape, pull oh, up right. when the plane's getting too low or the helicopter or whatever it was. Yeah. I don't remember which one it was. We watched all of them at once. That's oh, hard to God. say. God. It was awesome. Fuck. I don't, have, I don't over, have that in me. After it was over, I was like, I, I don't want to watch anything but action movies now. <laughs> That's actually a good sentiment from it, though, to like take away. Yeah. They were well done. Yeah. I just hate Tom Cruise. 
I that's why I only ever saw the first two. I saw the first one, I liked it. First one's a good movie in my this, opinion. I saw the second one and I hated it. Yep. And then that's about the time that Tom Cruise lost his fucking mind in mm-hmm. public at least. And I just quit watching Tom Cruise movies, so I never saw another one. And then this new one, the trailer looked pretty cool. So I was like, well, I guess I got to watch the other five or whatever that I missed. And I did, and they are pretty fucking great. You didn't have to. I will say, Tom Cruise, number one movie last summer, Top Gun Maverick. Oh, yeah. Number one movie this summer, and most likely number one movie next summer, because Dead Reckoning Part 2 is coming out next year. God. How is he still getting work? Like, he's not a good actor. Scientology pays into the Hollywoods. Yeah. She's not wrong. (laughs) This podcast has been interrupted by Scientology. <laughs> there's, been a, there's an emergency in your area. A nuclear weapon has been dropped. <laughs> Please pick up your books of Zool or whatever <laughs> fake demon they pray to. So, oh, Some man, I wish it was Cthulhu Zool. Cthulhu monster. Uh, I don't know. Zip, zippity zap? <laughs> I can't zippity remember what zap. called. I mean, say what you want about Christianity. At least theirs is just called God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, say what you will about the, what is it, the tenets of... Uh, the, the, of communism. <laughs> yeah, say what you will about the tenets of communism. At least it's an ethos, dude. They were nihilist, dude? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then she gets to this barricade. She gives him a helmet, which I guess will help stop bullets. Yeah, yeah they you won't bet. shoot his head. This is like an old school 80s ATV helmet, like just a big <laughs> bulbous. It's almost space balls. Yeah. It's like a football helmet without the mouth guard. It's yeah, I think it's closer to space balls, and I'd like to keep with that. Okay. I love space balls. And they, they drive through. They have to drive through this barricade, which is basically just like freaks, she calls them, marauders. Who They're just bored. Stop the roads to rob people and kill them for fun. Yeah. No, and she actually just said they just want action. Yeah, oh, okay. They're just, they're just, so, they're just action. I mean, jumping. I'm not saying they aren't going to no rob more you. Mission Impossible yeah. movies, so they need to do it themselves. <laughs> You know what? You know what I miss? I miss putting my gun in the air and going, ah! (laughs) So there's a shootout while she drives through this thing, and there's a guy with a flamethrower, which does not seem like a good weapon at a shootout. Not at all. But... And it catches the car on fire, and she just keeps it driving. It catches something on fire onto the car, and then oh that, yeah, you know, like, he catches like fabric on it. Or he something. catches the barricade on fire, and they drive, drive through it. But okay. yeah, it stays on fire for a while until she just turns the gas down <laughs> and her gas yeah, fire you plays. Can see that it's clearly coming from like a little gas feed, like. But yeah, I, I was like, you're not you're not gonna stop and pat that out. Can't no. stop. Won't stop. Got marauders uh, uh, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, goes to take a nap, and she just tells him, you know. Because they have to wait until night or something because it's, it's X amount of time to drive there. And then when they get there, they need it to be dark so that they don't get attacked sure. by Lester, who controls Zone 7. It's the da- most dangerous zone, I guess, is what we're getting. And so he goes off while she's trying to take a nap, and he sees these. Or, well, first he's listening to his first, fuck yeah, tape. Yeah, first he's listening to his fuck tape. He's got the disc in this little reader, and it's like the girl, she's like, oh, I love you. And, you know, you're so amazing and whatever. And you're like, oh, that's kind of weird, but also whatever. It's cool. And then it's just like, yeah, touch me there. Oh, harder, harder. And you're like, wait, what? I was kind of hoping he'd use it like a talk boy in Home Alone 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, come on in. pa pa Like setting traps with it. You know, just a minute. I've got to put my panties on. <laughs> Don't come in. I'm naked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great if he was cornered by people with machine guns this year. Don't come in. I'm not decent. Like, what? <laughs> I guess we'll wait out here for her. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. Oh, and there's also a tube full of snakes. Oh, yeah. He's sitting on this, this, I don't even know what the fuck this used to be. Some sort of big question machinery mark. thing, yeah. question mark, yeah. Uh, but there is a like drainage tube or something I'm saying filled this was with the snakes. Dam. And Well, no, I don't think this is yet, though. Is it? It might be part of it. It's a big concrete swirly thing. It, th- there was something there and there, that was and, big. And it's also, it's next to like a strip mine, so it could be, have something to do with that, too. Could be. Because we've got like the hole in the ground. I don't know. And on the other side of the strip mine, he sees these dudes in like colonial British hats and <laughs> Hawaiian shirts, like <laughs> which whatever. And they're Boy, like, we must go invade the deserts <laughs> of Panama. And I, they're like trying to rob Panama. this dude or just be mean to him. I don't know. I, I, maybe he's a tracker. Yeah, because they're less as people. And they end up taking this dude and putting him in a van and shoving a van off the side of the cliff. And it smashes to pieces. It's great. But I, why wasn't there an explosion? Yeah. Also, when they were first like throwing this dude around, I was just like, oh, man, throw this guy off that fucking ledge. I and just get, get a, a dummy. Fr- a Frisbee dummy. Because <laughs> the way the thing is sloped, that dummy would hit and then like cartwheel and tumble. And like, oh, it would be great. Yeah. Maybe they did it. And they're like, that looks ridiculous. 
Dummies don't look real. Oh, we got to get like a van. I or would something. have preferred that. Yeah. Oh, I would have too. It would have spiked like like spiked me up a little bit during this movie. But I got to like keep pinching myself. Oh, she knocks him over with a tire. So, yeah. Like because he's like standing on the ledge, right? So she's trying but to make you him. You don't know it's her. Yeah. So no, he's just standing there, tire. and this random tire comes up and hits him. And I'm like, oh, I've seen this movie. <laughs> oh yeah, you said it was rubber. Yeah. 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 It's a. It's oh, it's, it's an awesome movie. It's I, a movie. I can't say it's a good movie. It's an yeah, awesome movie. It's enjoyable. But we find out Lester is the guy who runs Zone Seven, which is where they have to go to get the sex doll. Uh, Lester, who will come up the here things shortly. that just come out of your mouth naturally. <laughs> Lester, who comes up shortly here, is played by an actor named Tim Thomerson, who I did know. He's in Trancers as Jack Death. He's the main character. I know him from Who's Harry Crumb as the male bimbo tennis player. Uh, he's also in another movie that we're going to be watching called Metal Storm: colon, The Sins of or the the Adventures of Jared Sin. Oh, is he? Does he play Jared Sin? No, he plays a different guy. Good, because I don't want him leading. <laughs> he's not it's bad. Also he's not 3D, bad. I'm being a dick. Way, this movie's in 3D, but you don't need a 3D TV. It's definitely like in the 3D it was in when it came out. So we just need the so red and blues. Need, we just need red and blues, and we can watch it. Well, if we're gonna do that, we might as well do Jaws 3D. Yeah. We might as well. Might as well. <laughs> finish I've it off. Done with, that. Uh, me too. No, no, no. Jaws 3D, not Jaws in 3D. Oh. Yeah, no, the Jaws third 3. Jaws, Jaws 3 D. came out as Jaws 3D. What we saw it's got was my the dad release of the good Jaws, but oh. done in 3D. It's got Dennis Quaid. I'm in. Yeah, I thought that might do it for you. <laughs> well, if that's all. If the fourth one's got Michael Caine. You really want to watch that too? Oh, I can't wait to do something with Michael Caine. <laughs> I'll take this movie because I needed a new kitchen. You're only doing this podcast so you can do the voice, huh? That's yes. right. Oh, the kitchen thing, by the way. That's why Michael Caine did Jaws 4. Someone was like, why were you in that movie? It was fucking terrible. I needed like, innovations on my like, kitchen. I was remodeling my kitchen. <laughs> my toast hey, you know wasn't what? coming out very done. Cool. Yeah. Fair enough. He was honest. Uh, so they're starting to kind of like flirt, like whatever, because she likes him, but he's Ooh. only thinking about his robot. Because she's like looking at the picture and she's like, why does this robot have red eyes? And he's like, because that's how fucking cameras work, which it's not. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Like, it's not all the time. If I took a picture of you, your eyes would be red, too. And she's like, why, why would, would you, you ever want to take a picture you of take, me? Or you You're just take sexier. a picture of me? So let's get to this. There we go. I fixed she, it. Melanie Griffith has no delivery here. It's so I, bland. I think Derek said, and I think you're right, she's trying to do mysterious and maybe aloof. Mm-hmm. You know, but it comes off as just bad acting. Yeah, it's trying to be like the the cool, quiet person, but it's just it comes up as stiff. believe it eight. It Get in my car. Nobody drives robot. my car. I I thought there was gonna be a twist ending where she was a robot. So this guy Lester, by the way, is apparently like a really good dude. He's a good leader because like we see some graffiti he is, here. I love him. It says Lester says be yourself, and so he's always telling everybody like Lester be rules. yourself. You know, live for adventure. I've said like, this before about another group, but this guy has the it's a small world of henchmen. We are <laughs> racially diverse. Oh, yeah. Like he's not just it's not just a uh, 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 what movie is it? Postman where it's all white people trying to run the earth. At the well, end. They, they're trying to create like a 1960s kind of version of like a good world for themselves. They have this weird little like dome city, whatever they live in. Like, I don't know. A little like, they were, uh, they like were cities. A, it's like a well, resort yeah. town. They for, were, like, they it's, were, like, it's like Palm Springs or something like it's like this resort town in the middle of the desert kind of boob town <laughs> <laughs> nipple buildings. <laughs> And they're all wearing Hawaiian shirts and like either British colonizer hats or like floppy Hunter S. Thompson hats. Yeah, and there's sure. like maybe one guy, Chet, has like a fedora. Yeah, and then they're all like, like the girls all dress in like 50s, 60s bikinis and hang out by the pool and they have like cookouts every night and they sing the hokey pokey. This I want to be here. This could be a Wes Anderson movie, like yeah. this part. No, you, yeah, you said that be. when we were watching it. Like, this feels like a badass Wes Anderson movie, and not because his aren't badass, but because it's Wes Anderson it's, with guns. Yeah, I guess that's what I should have said. It's like, <laughs> this is like Wes Anderson with guns. <laughs> I'd watch that. Give me a Wes Anderson action movie. It would be so weird. It would be so fucking weird, but if you get the right people in it. Jason and Edward Norton. This just summer, like- Jason Schwartzman is, I don't know what we're going to call this movie. I'd watch it. <laughs> Whatever it is. That's the name of the movie. Uh, yeah. that's what the, it, No, no. That's the end of the promo. What are we going to call this movie? Wes Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Wes Anderson. Oh, yeah. Let's I was see. trying to combine it. That didn't really work. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The Royal Schlockenbombs. <laughs> so she decides to... She's got to trick these guys into helping her get across this river. Right? So she like drives the car up. They're all coming out of places with 
rocket launchers and bazookas. And guns How are and, there so many bazookas and rocket launchers? I mean, like I, we have to over from the border. They're just war. readily available. There's deleted scenes here, not really, but there's deleted scenes <laughs> here where like they found a military uh, uh, fucking like a, a base. Oh, it's you in know, the like first a surplus. Movie. Yeah, it's in the first movie. It's, it's in Cherry One Thousand. Yeah, yes, I was okay. gonna say Cherry Ninety Nine. <laughs> I guess it would be Cherry Eight Hundred. Yeah, because don't we go T Eight Hundred to T Two Thousand? I thought we did 800 to 1,000. Was it 1,000? I don't know. Wasn't he 2,000? Let's watch him. All right. It's been a while. Don't threaten him with a good Yeah. I'll watch the first two. (laughs) Yeah. So she tries, she drives through. There's like a rocket fight. So she gets, first they get picked up by. And there was a rocket fight! (laughs) First she gets picked up by a giant uh, magnet, like one of those car crusher things where they pick you up and drop you in a thing, right? But she's driving slow on purpose. At first, I'm like, why the fuck aren't you hauling ass? Oh, you want to be picked up. Yeah. And then she's like hanging out of the windows. He's shooting. She's shooting rockets. She pulls out this fucking fat man from Fallout. Yes, she does. <laughs> Nukes a mesa, like a fucking flat top small mountain. Yes. Yeah. And like it's it's kind of awesome. It's just they're just shooting rockets back and forth. It's lucky that all the bad guys' rockets are just filled with dust, though. Yeah. Because one of them hits this car dead on. Okay. And you just get like dust. I have a theory. I think it's supposed to be hitting because we see later a more. Um, uh, zoomed out shot where it's hitting the dirt and sending like it's hitting the dirt right below him or right behind him. Okay, just bad framing. So, so. I think we're supposed to not see it hit the car. I could okay. be wrong because I kept thinking the same thing. I'm like, oh. man, you you guys are really bad. Like you don't know how rockets work, do you? <laughs> or maybe that's why there are rockets. so many rockets, how do those Whitney. Work? They're like, all right, we have rocket launchers to scare people, but we don't have any warheads. So <laughs> fill some fill some bags with dirt. Drop it in. There you go. So she kills this crane it's a dirty driver, bomb. by the way. <laughs> yes, she does. She oh, kills yeah. the crane driver, and he, he just comes happens back with to- the He's haunted. Yeah, because like it's, it's swinging over the river, which is where she wanted to go. He happens to hit the release, but she's strapped the car to the magnet with like a hook thing. Sure. So the car swings down. She's a real Mary Sue. <laughs> and then the dead uh, fucking Bernie, the crane operator over here, <laughs> hits another thing. We get the, the crane operators. <laughs> and the crane turns to just the right spot to where the car can drop into this like tube that's basically a giant water slide. And then they're trying to get out. Oh, she does say when the car falls and she almost falls off of it. And he's like, are you okay? And she's like, I swallowed my gum, which made me laugh. It did. That was a genuine laugh for me. <laughs> I, I, I will give props where like, are you okay? I will swallow my gum. And it gets dropped into this tube. And then they're trying to like rappel down. But this guy's an idiot. And he's got to bring his suitcase with him. But and like, when he's got to bring his out. giant blow dryer and all the other stuff. <laughs> I need him. my stuff, my <laughs> lubrication, the outfits for when I find this cherry two thousand. I'm supposed to fuck this robot. I want to get lube. humping right away. Like as soon as we find this robot, I want to be in her. But why, uh, wife? What did you uh, notice about this? I was like, this rope is definitely not long enough for anything. It's not even close. <laughs> and the suitcase opens up. So I, all right. So let me paint the picture. It looks like what they want is the car is the car is halfway down this tunnel and it's supposed to just be hanging by this rope and then they're going to rappel out of this and once they reach the bottom and do their thing they can rappel back up get in the car and drive problem is this rope doesn't make it halfway down this fucking ramp no it you're does not, not getting back up this way no so this car essentially should just be completely dead to everybody yeah but it's my favorite Somehow character they get it out of there later so. um they don't no, uh, no, the bad less, guys yeah. do, but I just, I don't understand. Well, magnets, dude. You know how those work. I don't. Oh, I don't They're either. They're a miracle from what I hear. <laughs> Sources state <laughs> that magnets are a miracle. Shaggy 2-Dope is going to be at the Rialto soon. Oh, I by Solo? That. Yep. Yeah. I kind of hope he's not playing. He's just sitting there talking. <laughs> like it's like a TED talk with him with his makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> he's just discussing literature. <laughs> his favorite book, To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> Just so kidding. Slides. His favorite book is like fucking Dr. Seuss, One Fish, Two Fish. I was going to say <laughs> You'd something. You'd be surprised. It's actually War and Punishment. So. <laughs> Wait, War and Peace. Nope. <laughs> war and Punishment. <laughs> he reads half of War and Peace and then the second half of Crime and Punishment. And that's what he calls a book. I think you just made his next, uh, his next stage name is War and, war and Punishment. <laughs> war and Punishment. <laughs> <laughs> so they fall to the bottom of this water slide. It looks kind of fun. And it looks amazing. It looks fun. But and we do see the suitcase open up. Yeah. And close and then open up and close. 
And there's a guy waiting at the bottom for her who's like her uncle or something. Turns out he's Six Finger Jack. It's Uncle or, John. I think that he's the Jake. guy from uh, Waterworld that's sitting in that big thing of oil at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been waiting down here forever. And he's got this like troller thing with like donkeys on it. Oh, yeah. I just float donkeys down the river. How do you get your donkeys down the river, dude? <laughs> 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 I clock the wagon and float, I guess, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, he's got a great little, like, kind of simple. It's a, it's it's simple, but it's honest work, you know, kind of lifestyle <laughs> well, going. Well, simple but honest work is apparently hustling toaster ovens. Cause, it's, well, it's Toast Our Ovens. Yeah, Toast Our Ovens Cause from his, Toast Our Us. His cave is filled with... With hundreds of toaster ovens, not brand new that's in the not box. hyperbolic. There no. are hundreds, and it's funny because Sam asks him, "Like, do all these toaster ovens work?" He's like, "Of course they work. What's the point in having them if they don't work?" And I'm like, "So, did you test all of these toaster <laughs> ovens? How much toast are you making? Are you sure? How do you know if you're having a stroke or not? If all you're ever doing is making toast?" Oh, dude, he's not. He's not getting bread in there. No, he's luring in rattlesnakes. That's true. Yeah. He has a rattlesnake that's in like striking position in his toaster oven. Think of any place that sold like a, a or not sold had like a museum that had a snake. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Display. It's like that. And he just pulls it out and it's like, yep, look at how great this is. <laughs> this thing was alive when I put it in there. It goes good with Cholula. Uh, you know what? You're probably not wrong. I'm, no, I'm sure it does. Cholula actually. goes with everything. Even ice cream? Oh, fuck yeah. I was thinking I breakfast cereal. I was like, I don't know about that. Cheerios. But, okay, that's fine. Sprinkle a little bacon on it, hit it with Cholula. Boy, you got yourself a cereals going. <laughs> you got yourself a breakfast stew. How much do you smoke? <laughs> in a day or <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or right now um this is america i don't think i have to answer that <laughs> i'm sorry i think this is america oh uh, your honor uh while bill cosby is not here i'd like to put my court <laughs> to the case uh, the case of the court that i'd smoke just enough marijuana <laughs> Sorry, last time I did a Southern fucking lawyer, Bill Cosby Don't showed up. Apologize. Bill Cosby showed up, and that episode will air by now. <laughs> uh, so she tells the guy that they're hunting. Hunt, basically, they're trying to find a new sex robot for Sam because he overexerted his last one, is what she says. And he's like, no, uh No, did no, not. didn't. We didn't even have sex. <laughs> she says she liked it like that. It's romance with a robot. That's why it's called romance. I flipped the consent switch to yes. <laughs> Ugh. This fucking, this robot fucker. But they are, again, like, flirting because they're sleeping, and he rolls over, and it's her, like, naked back, and he's like, oh, yeah, backs. Ooh. And then she oh. she rolls over, and they, I like, eye fuck backs. each other. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. But they eye fuck each other for a minute, and then she just kind of smirks and rolls back over. This is a post-apocalyptic world. This girl is gorgeous in our world by our standards. Yes. In this world, you should be just already forget your stupid fuck bot because this chick's hotter. And yeah. that's like the, the character is is hotter. She's much more capable. Like yeah. she'll keep you alive. Um, do you have do you anything toasted? She's got the hookup. Like exactly. there are plenty of reasons to be with Melanie Griffith and just forget this whole fucking plot. And you don't need to go back to your job at the recycling plant. You could just be a traveling toaster salesman. Yeah. Dude, door to door toasters. <laughs> Toast. From coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're doing this. <laughs> they get ambushed in the cave, presumably by Lester's people because they're wearing Hawaiian shirts. And Sam you gets know. bonked with a board. Like, literally, it's like... Off bonk. camera, yeah. Well, it's on camera. But the, oh, the board sorry. comes from off camera, yeah. It's just like, bonk. The assailant. But yeah, we do get a, a, a hefty bonk noise. Yes, we do. And he wakes up, and I, first I thought he was in a dream or something, because it's like he's at, by a poolside. Why wouldn't he's you think it's a dream? bright pink dominoes. shirt with dominoes all over oh, it. Oh, yeah. He had at least two pockets, maybe you, more. You know I wanted this. <laughs> Love my pockets. If anybody can find a button-up Hawaiian shirt <laughs> with pockets and dominoes. I wear 2XL. <laughs> um, no, why wouldn't you think it's a dream, though? This is not a normal... So we've already gotten this weird cowboy town, sure, yes. the glory hole, all that. We've gotten old River Jake with his donkeys, but we have not had... <laughs> <laughs> you there? So we've had River yeah. Jake and his donkeys, which is my new band name, but <laughs> we haven't had this, like, um, oh, fuck, it's... It's it's Beach 50s. It's Blast from the Past. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's this mirage. This could easily be a mirage. Yeah. 
And he did just get bonked out. And the first person he sees is his ex-girlfriend, Elaine, who now goes by the name Ginger. Deleted scene or what? We don't know this chick. We've no. never even heard about an ex-girlfriend. No. So Presumably, he left her for the robot. That's what I'm, I thought the robot was there for, uh, like, well, I can't do it with real women anymore, so I might as well get a sex bot, which, hey, buddy, I hear you. Elaine broke his heart, and he's like, well, you know who'll never break my heart? Ginger. Oh, wait, no. Ro- Cherry. Cherry. Robot. <laughs> Turns out she broke his heart too. Dude, this guy's just making ingredients when he dates girls. I've got ginger, I've got cherry, and sh- her name is E. I don't know what I'm making, but it's going to fuck you up. <laughs> ginger and cherry flavored ecstasy. <laughs> hey, sign me up, dude. <laughs> you need a taster for that? Or? <laughs> so she tells him that Lester said that he's the only one that lived from the, the conflict there. And. Lester arrives shortly after with the Mustang in tow. So, he's got a he's he's pretty soldiery. Yeah. You yeah know, he says whole, something like, that I've heard many times in war movies. Don't group up, they'll get you with one grenade. Something at least par- I paraphrased it, but he fought in the border wars also. Presumably. And then he's got this other guy with him named Skeet. Uh, who he can't seem to get his name right. He's calling him like Spoot and stuff. It's very uh it's son very in law. Hey, yeah, uh crotch, uh uh crap. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, all that really comes to is they they find out at their uh, their big dinner where so they, first of all they have like sixteen grills going mm-hmm. and they're just all each one up. has a chicken <laughs> <laughs> and they're sitting out and having dinner and this is when Lester by the way he's like we you know we take health seriously here you know we have standards we have a very strict diet while they're just eating cabbage and marshmallows and chicken I think it's still supposed to be like future space food yeah. but what is on the plate. It's shredded cabbage and marshmallows. Yeah. That's it. The big fluffy marshmallows. Watch your health, though, by the way. It's very important when a man eats. Can you hear me that chocolate syrup? <laughs> I am just going to just chase these marshmallows well, with chocolate syrup. it is one syrup. of the main food groups, isn't it? Chocolate syrup? Yeah. You betcha. And marshmallows. <laughs> Wilford Brimley just bursts in his door and kicks your ass. <laughs> diabetes. Spreading <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> Rumors. Rest in pictures. Free. False. False fucking evidence. Yeah, it is rest in pictures. Wilford Brimley was a delight. Wilford Brimley will never die. Have you seen the picture going around that's Wilford Brimley at the age that Paul Rudd is now, no. side by side, vastly different. It is well, you know, like life Wilford, got easier. Wilford Brimley in the fifties was not Paul Rudd in his fifties. Wasn't he in like this old house or some shit like no, that? No, he is this old house. <laughs> there was a show <laughs> called like this old house. No, that's Bob no. Vila. There was a show also, and like it was like a picture show? of the house, and it, from scene to scene, it would like come from one room of the house and open up to the scene. If anyone they- listening knows what she's talking about, I'm not being a dick. Please email us about this because I don't know. It's I not have no clue. Yeah, it's I not know ringing Cocoon any bells. And hard target. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it was a TV show. <laughs> oh, I believe you, and I believe that you're you're describing it correctly. It is just not anywhere. Like you know, sometimes you can get a little grain of oh, of yeah. of. Uh, acknowledgement like I, I got grandpa. nothing dude he was already an old man yeah he was a grandpa when he was born he was the only <laughs> fucking person ever born as a grandpa congratulations you've got two babies and they have two babies Lester kind of hints that maybe they're trying to like use this guy uh, Sam because he's like hey I got a whole warehouse full of cherry 2000s I just don't have the chip for him they think this guy's hiding the chip in my mind this isn't stated yeah. they think this guy's hiding the chip because he's like yeah I want I want that he chip he does say if you get one of them fired up it's like slamming an octopus wow which Whoa. is an interesting thing Yikes. I've never had sex with an octopus so no. I don't know I'm assuming it's I'm not the deep from the dick. boys like <laughs> we've seen this scene it's in the boys yeah that's the true. deep he, oh, fucked, that's he slams right. an octopus Gross. So, so maybe he's a big fan of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was, and his <laughs> name was Derek. Uh, so they, yeah, they they do end up killing this skeet guy, which is kind of funny. They put a bag over his head, <laughs> make him put a bag over his own head. It's a fun scene though, where he's like, hand him this, and it goes down the table of like twelve people where they're all handing his bag. Boop, 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 and then when it gets to skeet, he passes, he passes it. On. No, 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 no. Put that on. Don't tear it. John, help him out. Yeah. And they stick it. They like chain him up against this wall. But the bag and, has a target on it. Yeah. I don't think we said that. The, and and he's gonna Lester's supposed to. He's gonna shoot him. And he's like, no, this is too much firepower for him. And he pulls out a bow. And somebody in the background yells, "Make it a hole in one!" <laughs> <laughs> like, this is this is Cobra Kai in the future. This is post apocalyptic <laughs> Cobra Kai. And it makes he makes it look like he's really far away. But did we see? <laughs> did we say why he's killing him? Because oh, he's, he's a tracker. He found out he's a tracker. Yeah. Not there oh, for some knew. golf tournament. Yeah. 
he well, but he gets him to admit it. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. He knew we didn't know. Why would a golf tournament need sixteen dry cell batteries and all of this firepower? Uh, I'm assuming uh, that your cars are running on these batteries. That's why. Yeah, but I what I'm getting like, like that he infers is trackers that's, go out tracker longer, gear, and yeah. yeah, you need more. If you're just passing through, you just need your one battery. Yeah, that's fair. And so. Th- the ex-girlfriend is trying to convince st- Sam to stay there with them. And I just love it because he's like, these people are murderous freaks or something. And she's like, don't impose your values on me, Sam. Yeah. Like, I actually what? like it, man. It's a new society, bro. <laughs> we Sometimes we got to kill some fucking trackers. Would you like a sandwich? All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. One of these sandwiches. <laughs> she is obsessed with sandwiches. She's, she made a bunch of peanut butter and jellies. Les told her to. She has a special cooler that holds <laughs> sandwiches. You, you use that. <laughs> And so Sam is like walking around trying to sneak out, and Chet, who's this bad guy, uh, Robert does Robert Zadar, who you is would in, know uh, him from Tango. And, most people would know him from Tango and yeah, Cash. Tango you and broke Cash, that jaw, Samurai Cop, Maniac Cop Three, all these fun movies. This guy's got a jawline that yeah. you wouldn't believe. And it looks so like Sam like kicks him in the knee and like punches him and like or hits him in the face. And you're like he did not just knock that. No dude fucking out. way you actually knocked this guy out. Not even a but glimpse of chance. When he falls down, there's a knife in his back because <laughs> he <laughs> is there and she's she killed him. And I'm like, okay, that makes and so much more sense. And takes his fedora. Yeah, yeah <laughs> she, she does. does this is, is awesome. mine now. Keepers. It's a trophy. It's like cutting off his ear. And then like so they're going to escape. And that got you. He, he makes a, a pitcher of Molotov cocktails to yeah. steal Jack's it's, line here. It's not just one Molotov cocktail. <laughs> it's a pitcher. It's a five-gallon gas can not the Molotov little cherry, cocktail. Not that little cherry one that you go to, like you have to walk with. This is one you keep in the back of a Jeep yeah. and yeah. gas up like your whole fucking tank, and essentially. And he sticks it in this room where they keep bees. Bees? Like, <laughs> Bees. When the when they escape and the uh, Lester comes running out and he's standing right by it and you just hear Ginger go, "Watch out for the bees!" <laughs> There's an explosion oh. and, and fire burning everywhere. Watch out for the bees, Lester. And her mouth does Never not moves. move. And this yeah. is ADR. And also, he, also, oh, go ahead. No, you go. Well, because mine's no, the I next go. Scene. No, you go. No, I go. Okay. Yeah. So you can't have bees in the apocalypse. <laughs> I, I just I was just gonna say like so yeah he's cr- climbing out of the water and these bees are like the, he spends the rest of the movie with uh, like calamine, calamine oil on that his face. just finally made sense to me I thought it was blotchy sunblock because they oh, are no. all wearing well, like the nose yeah, sunblock and, yeah you like, would think that because that's like what's that old the zinc yeah, yeah. they're like the just you just put sunscreen in your nose like some sort of idiot so that does exist so why wouldn't you think that that's but exactly no, it's, what I thought it was it's calamine and ginger lotion acts like he's like looks like a freak from all these yeah, bee stings like, it's just got white streaks on his face he looks exactly this yeah his face already looked that fucked up yeah, he's already got a lumpy he's, face. his face looks like the undercarriage of ray liotta oh <laughs> i'm guessing <laughs> i do love oh go ahead you were gonna say something that's what it was oh, okay. it was the calamine thing when they're driving away and he's like oh i lost the chip it was wherever when it was in the cave when they attacked us or whatever yeah and he's and like with jake's donkeys <laughs> What happened to the other donkey? It was shot in the heart. Well, and he says something about like, oh, without the chip, if we go and get the Cherry 2000 doll, she'd basically be a toaster. So all I could think was, it's like fucking a toaster. And he's like, wait a second. Hold we don't need to go get this on. doll. Your uncle has a whole cave full of things. I, I could have a harem of toasters. <laughs> I just paint them all differently, <laughs> put them in different dresses. He's even, like, even if he does find that disc again, he's like, well, now I have audio. <laughs> I'm still fucking the toaster. I, I've learned to love it. I'm learning, yeah. I can't go back. So he, he ends up driving the car because they have a ways to go, I guess. And like she's sleeping and he's just staring at her while driving, which every time we watch a movie and people are talking or whatever in the car and they're never looking at the road, Whitney is always like, look at the fucking road. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a, a form of irritation and for me. Super. Literally never ever in any movie comes to anything. Except right except here. right now because eh, he's eh, like, eh, yeah, eh. The, the car starts buzzing and he's like, well, that's odd. Why is that buzzing? He continues to stare at her and it's like, you're going to hit a fucking wall. And he uh, looks up and hits a fucking wall. It's it that wall just came out of nowhere, man. Yeah, that giant mountain. Yeah, came oh. out of nowhere. It, was, it just eroded out of nowhere. <laughs> Call back to fucking the Phantom. Yeah, when that bridge just sneaks up on Remar. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Where'd that come from? <laughs> and then they're standing there talking, and like he he doesn't have his tape anymore or his disc, whatever. So he can't fuck his cherry robot. So now he's like, okay, well actually, you're not that bad, right? 
So they start like they don't start making out. He's like, he goes up to okay? her and literally just starts grabbing her tits. Her <laughs> his first base is boob touch. Yes, <laughs> what did I call? I called it. That's how you kiss. Kissing yeah. his boob. That's first base. You, Whitney was literally like, "That's first base, right?" We're like, no. I feel sorry for your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to yeah. kiss? Do you want to go to first base? Okay, shirt off. Uh, what are you doing? No, I'm taking my shirt, shirt off. You want to go to first base? Duh. <laughs> Who's over the shirt touching? Yeah, what's face? a home run for you? <laughs> Don't say it. Run. Don't say it. <laughs> Having a kid. Oh, gross. <laughs> That's everyone. Everyone loses with that I one. I love my daughter. <laughs> so they start fucking on the car almost. Just as, about. As she rolls over, you see that she's got the disc in her back pocket, the little fucking player. Oh, yeah, because uh, and- River Jake gave it to her and was like, hey, you decide yeah. what to do, yada, yada. And it ends up going off, and then he gets all mad, and... And they, they, you know, this is when they're like, kind of like, this is that part where like you start hating each other towards the middle to the end of the movie. Th- things were going too good. We had to throw a little wrench in this. And as that. they're arguing about what they're going to do, and she's like, I think he's going to like walk away or some shit. Fucking the postal service arrives. <laughs> <laughs> this guy dressed like a fucking post office worker. Wasn't it Royal it, Mail? <laughs> it looked like a Royal Mail mail logo, like the fucking British like post office. He is on his way shirt. out of his jurisdiction. <laughs> and they're in this big blue, like a blue and white van. He's got the hat on with the red, white, and blue stripes. Like uh-huh. I was like, this guy is a postman. And then and he, he goes postal. Gun, so he might be a postman. <laughs> If you have a machine gun, you're going to town on people, you might be a postman. <laughs> uh, Sam becomes an action hero here for uh-huh. like a split yeah. second. Even though the rest of the movie, he's a bumbling fucking idiot. Losing his guns. <laughs> they throw a grenade at him, and he jumps over this lifted Mustang, rolls, grabs the grenade as he's rolling, one and motion. chucks it back. Yeah, one motion. In, at first, he jumped, and I was like, he's about to Captain America this shit. He, I thought so, too. Live. <laughs> yeah. You ain't him. Yeah. And he throws it back, and then she's like, okay, well, well, let's go. We're going to finish this. And he's like, what? Look, shouldn't we just go? And he's like, she's like, no, you hired me to find a robot, didn't you? And he's just like, okay. Okay, it's okay. Well, now he's got his disc back. So he's like, fuck yeah, let's get that cherry. Uh, we now meet a character named... The fuck's was it? What the fuck was his name? Snappy Tom. Snappy. Sna- oh yeah. Snappy Tom and Randa. And Randa. Which, which weird name. I mean, if you got a problem with age differences, <laughs> yeah. this is going to get you... Uh, she's conservatively he's 20 and he's 20,000. <laughs> he's sitting in front of this little like oasis, like this pool of water that has a sign that says no fishing. <laughs> what and a the, rebel. The, the building is set called the last chance brothel and gas, yep. uh-huh. which is weird because the only people there are him and her. Oh yeah. She's, she's the prostitute. Are you sure it's her? Nope. Now, <laughs> now I'm feeling real, wet, real weird about this. I, I love it because they, they go and hide and Sam is looking through this room and Randa pops up and puts a gun to his head. That's and impossible, then, Randa. And then E comes out of nowhere and is like puts the gun to her head and she's like, drop it. And then fucking <laughs> Snappy Tom comes out of a refrigerator. Why do you think they call him Snappy Tom? <laughs> Snaps out of this refrigerator with a gun to fucking E's head. He's old enough to know you don't go in a refrigerator. That's how you get trapped and die. <laughs> uh, what if he saw... It wasn't saw... plugged in, so the magnetic pool wasn't that tight. Well, but what if he saw uh, uh, fucking Indiana Jones and the Chris... He He's like, there's danger. This Get in the refrigerator. So he yeah, he saw it. it. And then he's like, no, you drop it. And then Six Finger Jim comes in. He's like, no, you drop it. And then they realize that they love each other. <laughs> the only thing that would have made this seem better is if Six Finger Jim would have come from the roof or out of somewhere or from under something. Just repels. It, it, yeah, it was so great. Like, <laughs> no, you I'm drop here. it, yeah, motherfucker. No, you drop it. <laughs> It would have been so great. He could have just even like quantum leaped in. I would have liked him. We're not going to explain that. The, walking in on a, the bronco or the bronco, the donkey. The, oh God, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Riding you give him like just riding in a donkey, like <laughs> you drop it. All of a sudden, this movie just got three stars. Yeah. So far, it's had maybe a half a star. That gives it three, Whitney. <laughs> Better movie. Fucking donkey Jake over here just <laughs> rolling in hard. <laughs> Oh, and this old guy, uh, Snappy Tom, was played by a guy named Harry Carey Jr. Not that Harry Carey. Who was in, he was Marshall Fred White in Tombstone. Yeah. He was also Mr. Anderson in Gremlins. Oh, I was like, wait, hold on. (laughs) This fucking dude's in the Matrix? I can't say Mr. Anderson. Yeah, you can't say it normal. I have to say it like- 
Mr. To say it like uh, Hugo Weaving, but like bad. Mr. Anderson. Oh, and he tells Randa to go make some sandwiches, and she's like, no. And he's like, well, then why don't you just shit in a hat? (laughs) I had to say that in my intro because it it made me so fucking happy. It caught me off guard. Like, cause I think he's gonna say almost anything else. Like, <laughs> just about anything else is gonna come I out of this guy's mouth. Not expecting that one. Like, hey, Whitney, you want to go make some sandwiches? No. No. Well, you know what? Why don't you go do something productive then? That's what I thought was coming out. What we got was, hey, Whitney, you want to make some sandwiches? No. Go shit in your hat. Which she wasn't wearing a hat. Might be my she new. Was. Oh, it was on her back. It was like yeah. over her neck. Yeah. That might be what I say to people from now on. Go shit in your hat. Go shit in a hat instead of have your day. <laughs> have the rest of your day. Go shit in a hat. <laughs> Have the rest of your day. That fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> Did he tell you about that? Oh, yeah. Chick-fil-A or some other yeah, new chicken? Some, some kid at, at uh, God's Chicken there. We were driving by. We needed food. So we grabbed some chicken and give him my card. Tries it doesn't to tap have it. It doesn't have tap. And we Into the world. Drive away, and he's just like, the card just doesn't have tap. It's not my fault. Yeah. You should doesn't fix have that. It. He's like, they need to fix that then. <laughs> this is so much harder. I'm like, it's much harder for me to push the card in. And then it goes beep. Just yeah. as much time. And as we're driving away, he's just like, have the rest of your day. Like, I will get out of this car and I will shit in your hat. So I, I know you're, you're not. just jealous that yeah, you dude, didn't I think of shit. that. I will shit in your little Chick-fil-A hat. <laughs> and you will have to wear it all day because it's part of your uniform or you'll be sent home, mister. This is a God company. You have to follow the rules. Lester calls on like this radio and he's like, hey, Snappy Tom, we're looking for these Robot people. fucker. Yeah, we're looking for a robot fucker and his friends. Is there anyone trying to fuck your toaster right now? <laughs> Has he's anybody, got a type. Has anybody showed up recently and tried to have sex with how, the TV? How will I know if he's the robot fucker? He turns around and he's just banging the fridge. <laughs> I think he's here. That fridge isn't even plugged in. It doesn't that's count. Not even, that's not even warm. <laughs> uh, so when Randa hears it, and I, it looks like Snappy Tom maybe isn't going to say anything because Six Finger I don't Jim think he was going to. Or Six Finger Jim, Jake, whatever. Yeah, Six Finger Jake, he goes by Uncle John or Donkey Jim or <laughs> River, Donkey Jones. Jim. <laughs> River Jones. River Jones. <laughs> he's a man of many hats and he shits in all of them <laughs> but only six fingers so randa grabs the microphone though and she's like they're here right now so they start coming and as they're pulling up uh e has been out there trying to fix this plane that didn't have a propeller was like disheveled and falling apart now all of a sudden it's fine it's just dirty. pristine it's yeah oh yeah besides it being dirty this is a flawless working by well, airplane except for when the wind blows and like blows the hatch off the engine <laughs> and works sam, perfectly and sam tells her i flew in the war of the the war of the borders. Yeah, the border This wars. thing isn't going to do anything. I wonder if that's going to come into play later. <laughs> Aww. Um, and as the Les and his, <laughs> his crew are approaching, and they're get, getting ready to go get in the plane, like they don't see that Les is coming. <laughs> Fucking Snappy Jim is like, okay, they're on their way. Randa, get the macaroni and cheese. Uh, what? <laughs> I, I was re- I was really hoping it was code for like a yellow rocket launcher or something, and the cheese was napalm. <laughs> like, Randa, all right. get the bologna sandwich. It's just a claymore. <laughs> Randa, get the meatball sub. It's a bunch of grenades. <laughs> Randa, get the stroganoff. It's a bunch of dirty whips. <laughs> no should I should I get the pie? No, no, that's actually pie. Leave that. <laughs> Get the pie, and he just throws a pie at him. <laughs> it's, one those, pie! Yeah, it's one of those like just basic whipped cream pies. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're in a major food fight, and they're just <laughs> dropping pies from this airplane. <laughs> So they're trying to get away as Lester approaches, and Randa has a gun inside of like the mitt that she's using to carry the macaroni it, and cheese. It was cool. Yeah, she shoots Jake in the back. Which is uncool. Yeah, it's uncool. He's only got six fingers. You're not going to kill the guy. It's uncool. You killed the dead. uncool. <laughs> he killed my uncle. <laughs> uncle. And uh, they end up flying away, E and um, Sam. And she doesn't seem to question Ooh, that Jake didn't Sam come. Sam E. Them. <laughs> uh, there's something there. She doesn't seem to question that Jake didn't come with them. But then while they're flying, he's like, hey, by the way, Jake's dead. Yeah. And she's like, what? And he's like, yeah, no, that fucking chick killed him. I might have waited till you're uh, landing this. Yeah, maybe. You're not while you're flying this plane that's going like. Yeah. Kunk, 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 kunk. <laughs> she just lets go of the yoke and starts crying like. <laughs> oh. then, the thing does say that she's sobbing, but she's just going. Uh. <laughs> hey, that's Melanie Griffith at her best. She is really trying. Um, when Lester and his crew gets there, he walks up because they saw the plane fly away. Obviously, there was like a it went right over the cars kind uh-huh. of thing, and he walks up to Snappy Tom and he's like. I'm feeling 
I'm feeling a thing I don't like. I'm feeling anger. I don't like feeling anger because he's a very positive dude. Hey, be yourself. He's, Life's he's an adventure. A very positive sociopath murderer. Yeah. <laughs> and Randa is just trying to like get all up on his junk. Yeah. She's just like, hey, you like my sandals? Look at my feet. Go stand What's over there. On? She shoves them in his face. She yeah. Lucky. <laughs> And he's like, get the fuck out of here. And he ends up pushing her away. And then he like holds a gun to her forehead and off camera he shoots her because they couldn't afford that. <laughs> but I wanted to says- see a head explode. I did too. You had a PG-13, so you're not going to see like, I don't know, a, mel- a melon explode. They can't reuse the footage from scanners. Yeah. Just like- <laughs> it's not going to be Raiders of the Lost Ark face melt. <laughs> but he does have a great line right here where he's like, you need to change your attitude. How is she supposed to change her attitude now? <laughs> well, it did change. Okay, she's she's not complaining anymore. Exactly. Yeah, she shut the fuck up. Um, so they fly to dusty Las Vegas or, or, dusty or Reno, Las Vegas. No, it is Vegas. It is because one of the signs says Vegas. Yeah, something, something. it's not just the casinos. It says "Welcome to Vegas." And at this some is point. what she, what Whitney was talking about that like composite shot of like the plane flying and like this just dusty Vegas thing, which is obviously probably like a miniature set. Uh-huh. And then they just took this footage of a plane and superimposed it, and it, it looks awful. But like super imposed. What the whatever. fuck does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I think of Adam Sandler talking goat every time I hear the word superimposed. <laughs> they fucking superimpose me and shit. <laughs> so Lester t- goes there and he's got his guys and he gets, they open this truck and like four or five or six quads <laughs> come impossible out. impossible amount of Seven? quads come this out. This clown car thing full of quads and they're, Almost all of them have machine guns mounted to them. Yes. Big seems machine useless. guns, like that. What the M60s they use? And what are they supposed to do? Rambo. Drive this thing with one hand and <laughs> yeah. shoot. Yep. You're not driving a quad with one hand over dunes. You know it's better. Just don't mount a gun and give them small Uzis or something to like hand <laughs> operate. Yeah, because now you're going to turn the whole quad around. If this is a like, this is a GI Joe toy machine of war. Yep. Yeah. And when they're given when uh, Sam and E get there, they go to Pharaohs, which is not a real place. No, but it looks like a pyramid, and then they have to like break in and rappel down, and it's literally Indiana Jones. Wasn't there a Pharaohs in the eighties though? I don't. Maybe I don't know. I want. I wasn't in Vegas in the eighties. Full disclosure. I was. I mean, I've seen Casino, but I don't remember that. I could be wrong. Maybe <laughs> we could ask the little shipbird from previous episode, uh, Wiz- uh, Wizard. Oh no, she's from Reno. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, this might be Reno. Yeah. I got Reno on the But line. no, it does say Vegas. Um, and they go in and they're sneaking around. They're looking and there's all these crates and all I could think was top men. <laughs> uh, it belongs in a museum. It's being, it's being researched <laughs> Although by these top crates men. Just co- these crates just contains the top of men. Because it's all parts <laughs> of robots. <laughs> yeah, he says torso on it. The tops of men <laughs> but we never went see a male robot unless those guys were robot because it's the 80s women aren't supposed to be sexual you're supposed to just be this is not me but saying they do this say but yeah that stay at home robots. oh they do the the girl at the the glory hole she said we have freds and johns but that could just be male prostitutes okay sex I, work I is a thing in this in this yeah. in this world and ours <laughs> but uh it's more open in this world you're allowed to just you know have a, 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 a reel, a demo reel. So they, okay, fair they, enough. They go look through all these things that are obviously mannequins that don't look anything like human beings, and they end up finding the cherry. A $2, robot. Doll. This is not. <laughs> <laughs> they end up finding the cherry two thousand doll, which weirdly enough does look exactly like a human being. It must be oh, the best man, model. That's weird. And as they're like getting her out, they get ambushed yet again by Les and his crew. And less and more. She he had already put the disc into Cherry, so they're trying to get away with her, and she has no idea what danger is. I like this part. So like when they're getting shot at, and they're like ducking down, and she's just laying there kicking her feet in the air, and she's like, "I'd rather watch this on TV." Yeah. <laughs> Who are these guys? Like they're shooting bullets over their head. Everyone's got their head down, laying. And she like, pops Lada. up. Who are these guys anyway? It's pretty <laughs> fucking funny. And when they get out, it looks like so. Sam sees Lester. And he lets Lester turn around and start firing at him before he fires at Lester, which don't do that. Yeah. Just shoot the guy. But he shoots Lester and he It's falls. like saying he to surprise somebody. <laughs> yeah, three ninjas. Don't do that. You can't say he when you're still on the stairs. I'm right he <laughs> And he shoots Lester and Lester falls into the, the glass canopy thing that they kind of repelled down yeah, he through. He should have been dead. Yeah. No, he, he's got a good diet, though. Those marshmallows and sauerkraut oh, yeah. will keep you healthy. And as they, they get to the plane and they start they start it up and they're starting to try to fly away, Lester is crawling up the rope a la Rambo 3, <laughs> and he's still trying to chase them. 
the plane won't take off because it's too heavy with three people or two people in a robot. The ro- how, do we know how heavy robots are? I mean, I, I would assume. I mean, he kind of was picking her up and moving her around at the beginning of the movie, so she can't be that okay. heavy. But All I don't right. know. She's like pure Beskar and just heavy as shit. <laughs> That's what Mandalorian season four is going to be. He's got. He's, he's like, well, I got all my shit upgraded. Ooh. So now I need enough Beskar to make a sex bot. Mandalorian two thousand. <laughs> uh, so then there's a third shootout because Cherry ends up diving, or not Cherry. I'm sorry. E. e. E dives out of the plane so that it can take off. He's like, hey, we did it, awesome. And he turns around and she's not there. And at first you're like, well, he's just leaving. Like he just yeah. keeps flying. It she takes goes, him longer to deliberate this choice than it should. Yeah. Oh my god, it's forever. Yeah, she's having this shootout with like do- a couple dozen. The dudes. rest of his guys, yeah. yeah, a couple dozen. And she's surviving through it, but like he's flying away and kind of like circling and like thinking about it, and fucking uh, Cherry's back there just being dumb. Like I don't know, she's like you want tugging on his ear. Or, yeah, I, I love you. Love you. You, you know what? This is what you. he was thinking about it, and I was like, this bitch is smothering me. I That's can't, what it did. That's I can't what fly did it. one airplane without you nibbling on my ear and just tell me you love me. Now that he's been in this adventure with this real woman who's like an independent woman who's not clingy and not Man, like when that I kissed kind of her, thing, her like, lips were warm. Is that like a normal thing? It was almost like kissing a living thing. Wow. She felt like, what's this? She felt alive, you know? It was weird. When I kissed her, I got aroused, and I didn't think I could do that with anything that wasn't made out of plastic and metal. I haven't had a boner like that since that cave full of toaster ovens. <laughs> Man, I was hard. So he lands the plane, and he's like, hey, Cherry, go get me a Pepsi. And she's like, okay. And like a takes pep- off. A Pepsi? Dude. And <laughs> fuck right out of this movie, please. Yeah. And he goes and picks up E, and they take off. And he she's gets like, ecstasy? <laughs> yeah. She's like, what about Cherry? And he's like... She's just a robot. I'm like, well, she's kind of a yeah. living robot. Like, this is like a living creature with a memory. And That's like- all right. She's gonna make a great friend with uh, Ginger. Ginger. Yeah. yeah. Lester lassos the plane as it's flying away because I was like, obviously they didn't kill him when they shot him into the hole because that's sure. not how quick the villain dies, but he just dies just as quick here. He, he lassos yeah. the plane and he's like swinging off of it and just smashes into these like statue showgirls tits. Yeah. Yep. Face plants. <laughs> and he's hanging off of it by the rope upside down. And his his girl Elaine slash Ginger yeah. is like, who wants sandwiches? And one of the guys is like, what are you talking about? Lester's dead. And she's like, well, no sandwich for him. Just brushing this shit right off. And it's. Just- just the girls left, by the way. There no, was there guys. was a couple no, guys, but the, 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 no. one of the, the guys... henchmen talking to Ginger is a girl. Like yes. the, the, uh, so it is, it is in this scene. Oh, I thought scene. it was a dude who nope. said that Lester's dead. It was dead. a girl. Oh, okay. But like, I guess he just made them all so positive that they can't see the negative side, right? Yeah, or That's... she's a robot. Yeah. And then Cherry ends up getting a sandwich, and she's like opens it up, and she's like, That's pretty. Uh... so pretty. <laughs> And I was like, "Who's getting?" I gotta say, this when robot they, can't eat, right? Maybe she can. No, <laughs> she can take she in some sort of protein. <laughs> <laughs> What's the she difference between drink. peanut butter and? Uh, good night, folks. <laughs> uh, no, I did like when they when they turn around. He turns around and kisses. He is leaning on the yoke of this airplane, killing yeah, both of them. Yeah. Like for sure, <laughs> you idiot. And the movie ends with a shot of a nice ass. Yeah. Uh, they're flying away, and a donkey is just standing in the middle of the desert. Great ass. And you're like, hey, that donkey's going to die. You guys <laughs> left the, your uncle's donkey behind. No, There's no Ginger's going to take it. Then they're going to eat that's it. Fair. Yeah. And the credits roll over this ass. And that's <laughs> yeah. the end of the movie. And you know what? I do. I didn't mention it during the movie, but there was a couple of scenes where it had that really cool 80s action like the do, 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 do yeah kind of stuff like, like almost almost john carpenter but not cool enough but not good yeah, like, yeah. It, was, it was fun but not good it was fun there was some fun music here yeah and like that's that that's that movie that's it we're so, done yay all right bye see you guys <laughs> <laughs> um all right we, i kind of already know the answers here but wife recommendation that's a hard no <laughs> my no's not that hard it is uh, like you know how I like watching the bad ones to you know crack a couple and just make fun of them. This has that. This definitely has potential to make fun of. Yeah. But it on its own, like, do not watch this alone. You're just fucking weird if you watch this alone. All right. Well, I'm weird because I'll probably watch this again, and she's not going to watch it with me. Um, I yeah. enjoyed. I'll probably this. be sitting next to you playing on my phone, like when you first started this. Well, the, la- the last one I I had to buy through Amazon because it was cheaper than renting the fucking movie was Slipstream. And I was really sad at the end of that movie because I was like, oh, great. Now I own this movie. And this one, I'm like, dude, you're on a watch list now for owning Slipstream. <laughs> I don't know what it's for, but you're on it. Hey, it's got Bill Paxton in it. Sure. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed it well enough. I mean, it's not good. 
but I was entertained. I thought it's the podcast. Bad some movies. of the action was good. The fake John Carpenter music was cool. The concept of the world was cool, and I didn't mind how they didn't explain it because I kind of like how oh, it's just like, that. look, the world ended. Like, yeah. don't worry about it. Because if they have, to, if they explain it, it needs to be a part of the story. In this case, they would have been explaining it, and then it would still have nothing to do with the rest of the story, other than telling you why the world is the way it is. But they don't really. Well, I guess they do. I was gonna say they don't really mention it in Mad Max, but I guess there's like news reports and stuff of like war and whatnot. They See, I want to say this very movie little. is after yeah. Slipstream. Uh, it was like the same time because if I remember right, no, I think but I'm saying like oh, in like chronologically, like, like Slipstream, if it's shared universe. Yes, Slipstream happened first, and that's where you get all your information. And they were on the East Coast, and this is the West Coast. Oh yeah, and well, I'm Slipstream it's a joke. was in Ireland. <laughs> I mean, it was in America, I think, but it was in Ireland. <laughs> but either way, I don't know. I recommend it. I think it's fun. It's not so. the worst thing we've done no. on this podcast by no, far. It's not. No. it's not the worst thing we've done this month. Yeah. Well, the month you're hearing it, it's the first thing we've done. But of the movies we've recorded, I mean, th- th- fucking Three Ninjas. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'd watch this again over Three Ninjas. I paid three ninety nine to watch Three Ninjas, I and I've never back. been so upset. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. That's that. You know, you know what might have made it better? I had some of those promotional credits. It's from Amazon for doing the no rush shipping, so this only cost me a dollar seventy three. Easy, you, <laughs> you could have gotten a hotel room for a night at the Glory Hole for that with tip. Yeah, that's an extra ten cents for robot sex. <laughs> Send me a Maryland. <laughs> you don't want a Fred? No, I'm more of a Maryland or a John. Uh, I can see John. Fuck Fred. <laughs> so I think next week we will have. I think we'll have Ben back in the house. Wow! Because we're going to do Midnight Madness, which was a Ben recommendation, which means I had to do it. It looks it looks like it's got potential to be fun. It's it's a straight up 80s boob comedy. That's what I just like, said. That's what I grew up on, <laughs> so I love that. And the, that's the only hard part is I'm like, well, I guess I'm going to have to find if I can rent it or something because it's like only available. I think you have to either rent it. Or it's on YouTube. It's not even on. It's not Censored. even on Tubi. And yeah. I'm not watching a boob comedy on YouTube. No, that's stupid. I'll watch it so. on boob tube. <laughs> Maybe it's on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, but that'll be it for this week. Don't forget to check out Evasion. They provide our music, and they're awesome. Uh, send our links to all your friends. You know, make sure that you guys are listening to us. Make sure your friends are listening to us. If they don't want to listen to us, tie them up, put a bag over their head with headphones in it, and make them listen to us. Give and them if that they don't, arrow treatment. through the face. Yeah. yeah. Give them the skeet treatment. Yeah. That's all for this week. Uh, we will be doing a day with Dillinger. I think it'll be this month. Awesome. You've probably already heard a promo that I will add to the beginning of this because I haven't scheduled a date yet as of recording. So, you know, whatever. So check us out there, too. Tune in next week for Midnight Madness, Boobs, and Ben. <laughs> we love Ben. I have been Derek. I'm still Whitney. I shit in my hat as Jack. Good night and go shit in your hat. <laughs> <laughs>